Teach me grappling. What's up, guys? Christian's here to help me out. And guys, we got something super easy, simple for you. Um, I want you guys to learn about how to control the foot. All right, lay on your back. Okay, so let's, let's examine his foot right here. So when we do certain leg locks, I'm gonna show a couple of them, uh, ankle locks. When, when you do an ankle lock on somebody, let's say I'm gonna do like this kind of move right here. A lot of times what he'll do is he'll flex his foot and it's called putting the boot on. Um, you know, some people like to get technical that uh, dorsi flex, dorsal flex. They're, they're, they're dorsi flexing their foot and now it's, it's hard to kind of lean back and create a submission. So what, what I want to do is I, I want him ballerina flexed or planter flexed. Okay, planter the bottom dorsal, like a dorsal fin of a, of a, uh, like a dolphin or a shark. That's, there you go. Like a shark. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. I want it like this. I want him ballerina toed for you average everyday people. We want him like that. That's how we can create the pressure on his leg. So if I had my bone underneath and I did this, it's going to create some pressure and he's not going to like it. And he's going to tap. So. Okay. So this right here, how do we make this happen? Because he wants to put the boot on, okay? Well, the way we do it is we don't push here. So go ahead and flex strong. See, if I pull like this, I don't get much out of it, okay? But what we do is we take the toes and you can kind of change these angles and get these toes. I'm gonna push the toes together and squeeze them. See, I've got one hand on it. I squeeze the toes, and now as he's trying to keep them, I squeeze, and then I start by bending the toes. So leave your toes like that, so just so they can see what they look like. So see how I bent the big toe? I bent the big toe, and now the rest is gonna follow. Try to, try to fight it, yeah? See, he's still got the flex, but his toes are bent. It starts at the high point. Now go ahead, now look. Okay, see how I got that? Okay, so, but if you're like this, and I pull like this, and it's not just a leverage thing. It's not the leverage, it's like, I could use two hands, I could like, it's not gonna work, but if I just, one hand like this, and eventually I break him down. So, you have to understand that. So now let's go to a toe hold. If I have a toe hold, I can grip like this, I can grip like this. Okay, thumb or no thumb, it's very important that you bend the toes first and then now you have a toe hold and now I can turn it back that way and get the tap. Same thing with this, go ahead and flex. See, if a guy flexes and you do this, you, you can't get the toe hold, like it's not gonna work. So the first thing I do when the guy's flexed, he's put that boot on, I grab his toes and I bend and I, and I overpower him by starting by doing this, okay, doing this. I've said before on toe holds, I like to align pinky finger to pinky toe on toe holds because I don't want to go too low on a toe hold because I'll, I'll end up with the joint of the toes bending and then I won't be able to break here at the ankle. So I want to get here tight, either here or here and get a good grip. Now, if it's the ankle lock, okay, he's flexing and he's put on the boot, what I wanna do is, look, I'm gonna take my right hand, place it under, and I'm gonna hold, because I have an over, so now I'm gonna take it under, I'm gonna hug that, so he can't get his leg out, so you pull your leg to your chest, you know, it's tough. Now, you don't wanna do that, you just gave it to me. Flex your foot, yeah, see how, yeah, now he's keeping it. Now look, I open my elbow, and I bring my elbow back, and what am I really doing? I'm pinching those toes. I'm doing the same thing as this, but I'm doing it with the back of my triceps and my lat muscle. Once I do that, and you can't uh, dorsiflex? Yeah. Yeah. Now, I bring my hand under, and now I'm in here for you guys in the gi, or here, no gi, or here, no gi, or here, heel hook. So, you know, he, he could be flexing right here, you're trying to get the heel hook, but his toes 
You know, sometimes this dorsiflex is great for heel hooks because his toes get stuck in the armpit. However, sometimes that flex, you can really point your toes out. You see that? And I can't, I can't hook the heel. So if I, go ahead and flex it out, yeah. But if I pinch, now I can get my, my heel hook as well and get to that position. You feel that? Yeah. Okay, that was kind of cool, right? The All arm right. hurts more than the finger. The what? Like the arm oh, oh, hurts it's more me. than yeah. the finger. Yeah. Well, if you think about it, I mean, I'm massively strong of a human being, but when I do this and I use this, look at the muscles I'm yeah. using. I mean, these are my back muscles. I'm, I'm pulling, I'm flexing my lats. Feel that? So I think those are a lot better than just me trying to fight you like this. But again, when, when I'm in a position and I grab, I want to grab and squeeze and then flex his foot into a plantar flex and then boom, you've got a toe hold attack. So don't, don't go like this. I'm going to go toe hold and he flexes his foot out and then you go, oh, I can't get it. I have no leverage on this guy. So make sure you break him first and then you're in. Um, same thing with this. If he's booting, okay, I can hold, break him down, and then now I'm coming back and we're ready to go. Um, last one is a calf lock. So let's say I have his leg here. I'm gonna go ahead and roll you up and put you into the truck position. Look at his toes, okay? Don't pull here. I see a lot of people do this. They end up with the calf lock position and they pull it right here and it might work because he does nothing and I get him, okay? Or I stomp and I get him. But if you flex, you see that, Christian? Mm -hmm. Now start to extend your leg. Look at how powerful your leg is. Keep going. Ugh. I can't hold it any longer. He's gonna kick out and then what that leads to is him reversing me. So look what I do. I go to those toes. The second he flexes, I squeeze his toes and now try. I've got one hand, that, that frees up this hand so that I can hold here and do the same thing. Look, I've got his toes, elbow in his butt, and now he can't extend and now I can pull it down. And if I wanna add the stomp, I can add the stomp. I don't need to with Christian. <laughs> Sorry about that, dude. I know you're freaking out. No, I just have a fat leg. <laughs> yeah, but you probably felt that. I felt your muscles kind of tensing because it got a little scary, right? It just got but, tight as up. But if I go like this and he's fighting it, Go ahead and fight it. Extend, yeah, I can't, come on. Yeah, I lose his leg. See that? So when you guys go like this, make sure you get up here. If he flexes on you, you gotta get those toes. I start right there on that grip. Kick it, straighten it out, and now look at me break him down. See that? Over the top, like Stallone right there. Little crank him up at the high point, same as arm wrestling. Get that, get that high on the thumb on arm wrestling, turn it over. See that? And then we can break him. So there's these muscles. Last, last thing I'm gonna say. So I'll let that one loose. See, these muscles are right here. He's got his shin bone, okay, his shin bone. And then he's got all these little muscles in there. So I can push on these muscles and go ahead and work, work just go ahead and force, yeah, work those out. See how you raised my fingers? Do that again. See that? Push them, push them, push them, see? His muscles pushing my fingers up. You've got these muscles in here that help you pull, pull it. Make it strong, come on. Get them strong. Fight me, look at, fight me. There you go, go. And those muscles are really strong and grapplers in particular really develop the strength in those muscles. But I can overpower you, see? Just by high on the toes, I can overpower you. But if I fight you here, you're way too strong for me. Even me. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. I make the joke all the time. It's, it's, it started with my kids' class. I always got a joke with my kids about me being the strongest man alive. But of course, it's not strength at all. It's just technique. Guys, I love you. I'll see you guys next time with more great stuff. Christian, did you have fun? Yeah. Happy St. Right. Patrick's Day. All right. Happy St. Pat Patty's Day. Guys, enjoy. And comment down below. Sh like, share, subscribe, like always. And we'll see you guys next time with more great stuff. Ooh, that's it. That was good. Dude, that is... Oh, sorry. That is tight. <laughs> like, dude.